Good morning, good morning, you beautiful souls out there. This is Destiny, you guys. I am out into nature. I want to get out here early before people come out tracking me. Anyway, I want to get out here early and I want to get this video done. So I want to dive right into this video this morning. Um, it is a beautiful Sunday, like I said, it has been beautiful yesterday and today and I had the opportunity to get back out into nature my favorite habitat guys I'm I have done a lot of teaching on the ego and um, I just want to bring some more information some more information so you know we can be a more knowledge so we can get more enlightenment, more wisdom, more understanding. And I came out here into nature and I dragged my chair out here, <laughs> my uh, pillow, my computer, because this is where my notes are. And I hope you guys can be able to hear this video um, very clear. I hope the audio is very clear. And I'm going to jump right into it because I'm going to get started. I'm going to be talking about the ego and the infinite self the the infinite self versus your self okay the infinite self versus yourself yourself is a person that you created that the ego had created the person that the ego had programmed and said you are this and that and all, 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 all everything that is opposite of what the creator of the universe your god has said that you are Okay, so there is your infinite self, it's your higher self, your higher greater consciousness self. That's the self, your soul consciousness, that's your creator God created you. Before the ego, which is yourself, the creation of yourself, got his hands on you, me, and all of us. So let me jump right into it. It's going to be a part one, and it's going to be a part two. Again, today is Sunday. It is February 9th, 2020, early in the morning. The breeze is blowing. It's beautiful in nature. I'm diving deep into it. Guys, are you ready? Let's get started. The part one of this video is going to be called The Ego Versus The Infinite Self. Okay, get this, y'all. Got this. Now, what I've learned from my spiritual journey experiences were that spiritual growth and the getting of a higher awareness or, you know, a higher awareness of who we are, it's not necessarily convenient. Meditate on that. Just think about what I'm saying. Take it slow. Allow your gut intuition to give you the revelation and knowledge. That's why most of us never make it through our spiritual journey and all the way through the process of becoming to our higher and greater self. Most of us don't make it because they want to reach a higher place from within the considerations of the ego. And it is limited consciousness your your ego that's your lower self your lower state your lower density your lower conscious state of being that's your ego your ego is that i part of you that worldly pleasure part of you that part that always taking the credit from what the divine creator already created us in his likeness in his image we are god we are god consciousness so guys, most of us want to reach that higher place from within the considerations of the ego and its limited consciousness, which often, guys, defines life into self-righteous. It defines life into cozy little boxes, you know, where you beautifully created yourself and you're so proud of what you've done and you put it up on a display somewhere. And we often define life as creating a self-indulgent 
energy. See, we don't have to create energy because we are energy people. We are energy being to create all these created us. As I said, we came out of this part of this earth, Mother Gaia, Mother Nature. I said, we already being created. We are energy being. We are energy people. So we don't have to create a self-indulgent a self indulgent energy that has the potential of a slug in a puddle. What does that do when you throw a, 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 a pedal in a puddle? It, splunk, splunk, it splashes and you know, that's just a temporary rhythm and a temporary tone, a movement. That's not the universe power that he has created in us. One of the things, guys, I wish I have learned and internalized early in my life is how to deal with the concept that we like to call insecurity. And don't tell me that Destiny is the only one sitting out there on this platform that has insecurities. I still have some, but I had a whole bunch and a whole lot of them before I grew and kept growing and reaching to become my higher and greater self and allowing the universe God is created to, to define me, to give me my purpose and to accept that purpose. I had a lot of insecurities about myself. Not talking about the insecurities being around things and other people. I had my own insecurities. So, I wish I would have internalized early in my life how to deal with the concept of all those insecurities. These insecurities defined as a lack of confidence of having doubt in myself or in yourself, in oneself, or instability. Be real. I just keep it real. Having those security within, you know what I'm saying? You don't have that security within yourself. You are not connected with your divine, higher consciousness self. And you are always got to go back and you always got to uh, make sure that what the ego is saying is right against what your God, the creator, is calling you and is sending messages from the universe to tell you and point you to your greater and higher self. I'm going to leave that beer on... But guys, having a self-esteem that is like a tower of cotton balls. And you know how these little light fluffy cotton balls, they can be blown over <laughs> at anything, at any situation, at any little swiss or wind that may blow or any adverse weather. This cotton ball is going to tumble over just so easily. And many people are suffering from this self-imposed disease. And think about it like that. It's a self-imposed disease. And yes, I said it, and I'm going to say it again. It's a disease. The mind and the body are not at ease harboring these thoughts. And I said, we become our thoughts. Whatever man or woman, child, boy, girl, whoever thinks within themselves, so they become whatever they think of themselves that is what they become these are our thoughts and I keep telling you people we are not our thoughts so guys yes destiny will say that self impose and I will say that boldly, that self-imposed part of us, those thoughts that we allow our ego to program us to speak up out of our mouths. At some point towards the cost and effect, and some might say that it was imposed on them from family members or friends or even society but ultimately guys it was your choice to hold on to that story it was your choice to speak that story if your choice to believe in that story guys i hope you can see 
because I see a reflection of the sun keep coming in. I see a glaring breeze all blowing over us. I'm out here under this beautiful shade tree, but I hope the, the, the picture, the reflection, everything is okay. And I hope you're seeing it, but most of all, hear it. You can hear what I'm saying, okay? Guys, I said it was our choice to hold on to the story or we can let this thing run our life. Like I said, life is choice driven. Choose you what you want to serve. Choose what you want to be, what you want to become, who you are. You got that choice to choose you. But as the Creator God said, as for us to choose life, then we have to choose Him. Okay. We may have been unconscious to when it was programmed, all these thoughts and all these forms and all these patterns into us, guys. But we have a conscious choice to transform it. When there isn't a solid foundation, guys, of love, a solid foundation of appreciation or acceptance from our own bodies, then we are easily dominated by our environments. And we don't feel safe in it. We don't feel safe. We don't feel comfortable. We don't feel like we know ourselves that we are assurance. We don't we feel powerless, hopeless, because we are giving our power over to our ego. Okay, so we are all in literally lighthouses that can shine easily through any storm. And then we should let our light shine. God says, hey, create God, create us to be a light in this dark world. And what we are here for and our purpose is to lead and guide others in the way toward the divine creator, to their high and greater self. We got to learn first who we are. We got to grow and learn to love ourselves. We got to learn to become our infinite self. And then we got to learn when we get all that knowledge and all that wisdom and, and with that understanding, we are going to go back and we're going to help others to grow into the knowledge and understanding and to gain their power over their subconscious state of being, their ego, or with all the programs and the traps of the ego, so we can help them to be pulled onto their path with the support and the help that the Creator has given us to support them and guide them. So we all should be the lighthouses that shine through any storm. We just forget that is our true capacity. We hold that light within us. That's our true capacity. That light is within us. Guys, almost all cases of insecurity are illusions of the mind. Something happened. You created a story around it. I don't care. Every time something happened in our life, we got a story. We created it. And then you're retreated within, allowing all that fear to come in and take over. And when you experience life every day through fear, it's almost impossible to enjoy yourself or even to have fun. It takes all of your mental energy. And you're always on defense, looking for threats to avoid. You run around dodging and ducking like something's always after you. You are running away from things. You run away from your own shadow. You're even scared of yourself. Go within. Do a check, an internal check. Go within. You find yourself so exhausted at the end of the day, guys. And you wonder why you're so tired. Because you spend the biggest of your day dodging and dodging and ducking and running from things because you're afraid to stand up to it. You're afraid to address the negative situations, negative people, this negative these vampire, these vampire energies and all that. You're afraid of yourself, your own shadow. You're afraid of things. You're afraid of who you are. You're afraid of to, the, to find out your true purpose in life. 
because they know you gotta become responsible. We hate responsibilities, don't we, a lot of times? Because now we have become accountable for our own actions. That's why you are so exhausted during the day. That's why you are so tired. So you don't have to wonder about that. You gotta check yourself, check your energy. Guys, this fear of your perceived perfections or flaws, it becomes stagnant energy in your body that builds up over time and it becomes strong complexes that you begin to believe. And I keep saying, as a man or a woman thinks within him or herself, so they become those thoughts. Those thoughts that you speak and the they are those thoughts that you give life and energy to, the energy to it becomes your reality because you created it. You are not your thoughts. You created it with negative things that you allow the programming of your ego to set you up with your lower self conscious being. Okay? Now, guys. Just a few minutes, um, someone came out twice and looking over here at me. So I'm, I'm okay. I'm, 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 I'm cool with it. And I see people still standing around. They probably went like, what is that girl standing up in a tree, sitting up in a tree with a computer and a camera? And she's out there talking to herself. Yeah. We know the deal. It's all cool. I just wish they could come in and, and get the message themselves. But the creator knows what he does. Guys, listen. Let me tell you some about some of my strong complexions that, 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 that destroyed and wrecked my life. You know, that before I grew into my higher and greater constant self, before I become to believe, to know who I am, before I allow the divine creator to just lift me up with his powerful energy and bring me from my ego, my lower constant state of being, God, let me tell you some of the things that exhausted me in life and it had its hands on me. Let me tell you, I'm going to be put it out there wrong. I'm going to be real. And that's the way that I, I, I learned to heal. Man, you can heal yourself. You got to release yourself from believing all the negativity and all the negative thoughts and all the negative energies and, and living in that negative environment. I began to believe in myself. And when he showed me, me, when the creator God showed me who I really was, I accepted me. Everything about me, what I call flaws and imperfections and all those things, it became my authentic self. I loved me. So for me, it was my looks. My, my excess body weight. I was a chubby, chubby, chubby little fat thing. <laughs> Up till like, um, probably like two and a half years ago, I was I was 160, 70, 80, I stayed close to 190 pounds. I was a short, fat, chubby, chubby, chubby person. Now, I was not that way in my teen years, but during the process of me getting older and having children and not taking, up my, taking care of my body in a healthy way and eating crazy and, and doing all these things that was against what the Creator had designed for my body, I became chubby, chumpy chunky and fat and, 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 and I hated my body I hated who I become but I didn't know how to change it I didn't know how to I didn't know how to start changing all that but I hated the excess body weight and finding every flaw I could find on my body and then when I'm finding all these flaws and these big chunky up here, these big chunky wide hips and these short little chubby thighs, I mean, I saw it all. I saw myself like whatever you see, whatever you believe, those become your thoughts, they become your reality. And by me kept seeing it and addressing those things about me and acknowledging those things, which I did not like, I created them and became a reality. I kept concentrating on them guys. I kept concentrating on my thoughts and the things around me that I did not like about me. And every day what I was doing, I was looping it and I was creating it and I was forming it and I was making that become me day after day. I was living my life filtering my reality through the lenses 
yes, through the lenses of ugliness, ugliness, <laughs> not beautiful, like I said, fat and wobbly, gosh, finding evidence for it everywhere I could imagine. I was always running from that thing, but I didn't know how to go back and help it to be free and released from all those things that I did not like. Finding evidence for it everywhere instead of trying to find the beauty within that the Creator God had created me. He said, You are fearfully and wonderfully made. God told me, and He says it in the Bible all the time in Genesis, that we were created in His likeness and in His image. And don't you think that this is God? God is in everything. He is the creation. He is the creator. He is the universe. He is this tree I'm sitting up under. He is in me. I am God consciousness. I didn't see that. I did not embrace all of that. I could not embrace the beauty because I was still guided by my ego. Not understanding anything about an ego during that time. Did not understand anything about a self constant state of being and not understanding about the divine power and the, the divine infinite intelligence. I did, I did not understand all that. I did not even know nothing about a spiritual awakening or going on a spiritual journey. I didn't know anything about the seven major chakras, the Kundalini, our spiritual awakening. not know so I did not embrace my beauty as a result of that I would look for the ugliness and all those things that I saw in me that I did not like I was looking to see all those things in other people I was looking to see all those ugly things in the world around me why because it it was to make myself feel better, and it did. It made myself feel better, and I was like, okay, I'm not the only one. Everybody else is ugly, too. Everybody else is not pretty, but then I saw pretty people. I saw beautiful bodies. I saw people that I, like, I wanted to be like. I didn't know how, but I would not give credit for credit. But still, well, you just walk up to them, well, I like the way that you're that, that, that you maintaining your health and your beauty and your body. I, I would just frown at them because it made me feel better about who I was myself wrong thinking but you don't know no other way that's the way you think but when you come to know better guys you change you you change your thoughts you change your forms and patterns that is leading to a negative place to keep you in your lower state of consciousness guys part of the human experience is dealing with those insecurities Yes, you're going to have to do the work. I had to do the work. I had to do a whole lot of work. And so that's the thing that we continue to hold on to things because we keep resisting. We keep resisting going back and saying, you know, I'm wrong. My thinking is wrong. My ways are wrong. The way I'm seeing things is wrong. It's not the way the Creator God is, 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 is creating my life. I'm creating what I'm seeing and the things that keep me locked into my lower self and to negative ways and negative thinking, it's not creative, it's my way of doing things. But part of the human experience is dealing with those insecurities and I had to admit that. I had to stand up and I had to turn back and look at myself and I said no more as I continue to st start growing to my higher state of consciousness as I start out my spiritual journey after three some years as I was into it still not growing into my higher consciousness self because I'm still allowing all these insecurities to keep me deflated <laughs> oh. but no one can escape that but we can change our perspective on what it is. We can change how, it, how to deal with it. And we can change that part. Is Whatever those things are, we can change it. And we can put it on out of our control. We can take away the power that we have given it to all those negative things and those negative thoughts, those negative feelings. And we take the power back and we stand in the control. Take the control away from those things. 
Guys, these things show up in different ways. And you'll begin spotting flaws on your body <laughs> and in your personality, then you will magnify all of these things under a microscope. And every time you put it up under that microscope, guys, guess what's getting bigger? It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> Because all the negativity is still there and it's growing because we are not taking the power and control to stand up in who we are, our divine conscious higher self, and start believing that I am not my thoughts, that I am God consciousness, I am not my ego. Keep growing, keep growing and you will grow into the truth. Keep allow your ego to pull you in different directions. You will never grow. You keep allowing your ego to have it. It's way in your life. You're never going to grow, guys. You're going to always see flaws and imperfections and all these crazy spots all over you and these crazy personalities and all these different things. So <clears throat> we have to keep growing. That is what's Leave wrong. It, Good morning. Good morning. That's a beautiful dog. Thank you. He just doesn't know you, so. He doesn't know. It. He is gorgeous. Thank you. Come on, you all buddy. have a great day. Come on, bud. Hello, sir. Hi. Yes. So they out here with me again. So it's okay. So, guys, your mind then forms stories around all these things that you see that is wrong with you, these things that you see that you don't like. But it's funny because you actually point them out more with your body language. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because like I said, you know, they say action speaks louder than words. When your body language speaks a more powerful word, sometimes then your mouth will open up and be spoken out loud. And then you project, then you project the things that you don't want people to notice. Because all of a sudden now your body's always speaking and people are like, what is she looking at herself like that? And why is she frowning at herself like that? So you, you, you're you drawing attention to yourself and these people looking at you because they see that you don't like you or something about you that you just can't accept. So, so that's what you do. And your body's language and it, 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 it's saying a lot of things to people. Watch your body, watch your body language. And your body language project the things that you don't want people to notice, but they actually become clearer as a result. And maybe you're becoming bald, and you're just like, uh, uh, you know, or maybe you're coming shorter, or maybe even chunkier or fatter, or maybe you're coming too skinny, or too wrinkly, 